welcome to 45th lecture of uh, circuit analysis today we will continue studying maximum average power transfer theorem we started studying this theorem in our last lecture the theorem is there are queries from some students regarding understanding of this theorem i'll explain uh, with will, that will be the recap of the last lecture a few basic things given a circuit with the load capacitance cl here is an example circuit i have drawn for students the circuit has some a combination of impedances we call it zeth avenin and an input source and a variable cl so we are required to find the value of zl for which the power active power p absorbed in zl is maximum this means we can try different values of cl and for only one value of cl the power absorbed in the load impedance cl will be the max cl i read it, i read this line zl is the impedance across which we not need to find voltage or we want to find current through it this is the load impedance we use the word impedance because we are studying ac circuits for dc circuits it's always resistance right there is some power absorbed in z thevenin and z and in zl but we are interested in finding the value of cl this variable impedance for which that power dissipated or power absorbed in watts is max right let's move on to the next slide suppose this cl is variable what should we set equal to what should we set equal to if pl is max if you want to have the maximum load power the power absorbed in cl well we in last lecture we studied this is the complex conjugate of c thevenin but in this lecture we will going to verify it using hit and trial method we will try different values of cl this cl we will keep this cl variable we will keep this cl variable and we'll try different values of cl to find that for which value of cl the power dissipated is max right for this simple circuit it's a series circuit vl is computed vl is the voltage across load impedance using voltage divider theorem current through cl is computed using ohm's law this is straightforward and power would be the magnitude of the load voltage times the magnitude of the magnitude of the current flowing through load times the difference of times the cos of the difference of angle between its voltage and current right so what we have done is we have made z thevenin constant which is 1 plus j1 then ohms this is ohms the internal resistance the internal impedance not resistance this is the internal impedance in ohms of the circuit and we want to try different values of cl and see what the power p is dissipated in the load this is this power is p dissipated or absorbed in load so we try different values of load impedances and we are surprised to see that whatever we try there is only one in this world there is only one value of load impedance cl for which we get the maximum power absorbed in load for any other value of load of load impedance that we can think of you can think of any value 
put that value as the L and calculate power. You see that power will be lesser than 12.5 watt. This is surprising. That will be the that will be smaller than 12. You can try any value of your choice. For your convenience, I have generated uh, an MS an MS Excel worksheet for you, and I have set all formulas in it. The V is given to be 10, Z thevenin is fixed, and in this column CL, you can try different values. I have tried different values, but this is editable. You can try any values you want. And we see that for the value of CL, that is the complex conjugate of Z thevenin. Z thevenin is 1 plus J1. Here J is J is written as I. 1 plus J1. When CL is 1 minus J1, that is the complex conjugate of Z thevenin, we get the maximum power 12.54. And for any other chosen value, we get a power value, a value of PL that is smaller than this value 12.5. So this is an open challenge. You can try different values of CL in this given sheet in this column and you will get what well, you can try any values you want but keep the real part positive don't keep it negative don't keep it negative because resistance is nothing is is uh, never negative keep the real part positive and you can try any imaginary part either positive or negative and you will reach to a value that will be smaller than 12.5 that is the value we obtain and we put CL is equal to the complex conjugate of C thevenin. For any other questions regarding max power transfer theorem, you can email me or send me your questions on MS Teams or you can send me your questions on WhatsApp too. Thank you.